Good day, dear students. How are you? I hope that you have really watched and learned something from our lesson 1 to lesson 7. And now, welcome to our recorded learning session on lesson 8. And we will tackle here the material or economic cell. So, you are expected at the end of this learning session to manifest the following. Of course, you'll be able to discuss material self, appraise or evaluate yourselves based on the description of material cells, and of course, you'll be able to identify the role of consumer culture to oneself. So, before that, your first task for this lesson is to download a video entitled Material Girl by Janice Parlock. You could retrieve that from YouTube. And afterward, afterwards, of course, you should decipher the relevance of that video to our lesson. So what is material self all about? Okay, it says here that it consists of things that belong to a person or entities that person belongs to. An example of which is if you are traveling outside the country or in other islands like Visayas and Mindanao, you'll have a luggage and you should attach there a personal tag wherein your personal identification like your number and your address are indicated. So that whenever your luggage will be misplaced, then someone could return it easily because of that personal tag. And there are two categories of material self. First is the bodily self which consists the parts of your body and can we answer this is there a difference between saying my or mine okay they are both possessive pronouns okay so the second one is the extracorporeal self which consists any material possession which extends our body an example of which is if you have a favorite blanket that's an extension of yourself okay because it somehow identifies you from the other and our big idea for this slide is it is our psychological ownership of these materials which constitute the material self. So it is not what we actually see but how we actually feel and think about the possessions that we have that consists the gist of material self. Okay, so let us know William James, one who has contributed so much to the concept of material self. According to him, material self pertains to the object places or even people which have label mine. Okay. During the olden times, our ancestors would measure the, the land that they could give to their children according to what they, their eyesight could reach. Okay, so... Kunin mo na or sa'yo na ang land na iyan dahil yun yung nakikita natin. Wala pang measurement noon na 1 hectare, square meters, and the like. So, that's an example of that proposition. Okay? Next is, people had a material self and the man's self is the sum total of all that he can call his. Okay? So, William James says that, I am me because I have a laptop i am me because i have a home like that so yourself is composed of various material selves that you could of course you could relate to what you really have right now next is if they grew their owners felt triumphant if they faded people felt a part of themselves was dying an example of which is if you have a pet you loved so much that pet and of course, you have an attachment to it, and if it will be lost or it, if it will die, then a part of you somehow dies, okay? Because of the attachment that you have developed to that pet. Another example is that if you have bought a very expensive material possession out from your pocket and from the hard work that you have had, then it suddenly disappears or it could be stolen by someone, then you feel frustrated and disappointed because your hard work and your effort will be, of course, neglected. Ayan. And let's proceed to the composition of material self. You could see there are various illustrations and let's dissect them one by one. 
First is your body. It is the innermost part of the material self. Certain parts of the body seem more intimately ours than the rest. Okay? So, if you could see that you resemble your mother or your father and a part of your face is just like them, okay, that's already the influence of our heredity through our genes. And do you know that your body is yours? Even if you have a husband or a wife, your body is not theirs. It is yours. So control it. Take good care of it. And these are the questions that we, sh we should consider. What part of your body will you consider as your best asset? And what part of your body would you prefer to be hidden away? Okay. As a young teenager then, if I, I will answer these questions, I could say that my eyes are my best asset, okay? Because they really reflect my feelings. If I smile and I am happy, my eyes are also smiling. But if I am sad, they really reflect what I really feel, okay? And of course, my eyes are brown and not all people have brown eyes, especially here in the Philippines. And what part of my body would I prefer to be hidden away? I'd like my cheeks to be hidden away if there will be chance to do that, okay? Because my cheeks have lots of pimples. But remember, it is an in acceptance, true acceptance that we could love ourselves. We are unique from the others. Okay, and we should not dwell on the weaknesses or the bad or ugly side that we have. We have lots of strengths anyway. So next, aside from your body, your family. Our immediate family is part of ourselves. When they die, a part of our very selves is gone. Okay? Our immediate family is still the extension of, of ourselves. Okay, We are identified through them. Remember when our ancestors or even nowadays, they would identify a young child or yes it they would identify a child through nakgawi nakbuyukan because the father has a surname or has a name buyukan or gawi so that means that anak ni buyukan anak ni gawi okay so that connotes that we are really identified through our family next if they do anything wrong, it is our shame. If they are insulted, our anger flashes forth as readily as if we stood in their place. An example of which is through my experience when my older sister really craved for rebanding of hair, then she went alone, okay, in a salon, in a certain place. Then the result was that her hair was ruined and she called me, then I went in that salon in a certain place then i was really very ang angry okay and i asked why did you not take good care of my sister's hair okay and what did i do i went to a near uh, police station and then i ushered the police officer to that salon and there they intervened okay i was really angry because i of course i cared how my sister felt that time so that's an example. Next, aside from your body, your family, now your clothes. We so appreciate our clothes and identify ourselves with them. So it's a point to ponder on what kind of clothes do you pre really prefer to wear? Okay, did you know that your clothes identify part of you? So I myself, I want clothes that do not really reveal my skin and I want clothes which are bright colored because they really affect my my appearance my aura i'd like to be happy okay so so through those bright colors my aura becomes lighter and here are the questions for us to ponder on how long does it take one to choose the attire for the day sabi ng mga kalalakihan ni mrs cooket kwa 30 minutes nga birbirok ti Bado na kat sukat nga sukat hal nga makontent. <laughs> okay, do you ob observe those? Okay, from the men. And why do we have so many clothes in our dresser? Okay, I would like to answer this as guide for you in answering also this question based on your personal experience. How long does it take one to choose the attire for the day? I myself, if I am busy during Sundays and I was not able to prepare my attire for the whole week, I could say that in 15 minutes, I am looking for 
clothes that suit my mood for the day. Okay, so um, why do we have so many clothes in our dresser? When I was just single, I did not yet have my husband, I really enjoyed shopping sa mga wagwagan, sa mga ukay-ukay because my thinking was that I am working so hard, I am earning, this is my salary, therefore I should enjoy it. And one of the means that I enjoy my salary is through shopping in wagwagan because there are lots of, of course, unique dresses there but when i became a wife and i really now prioritize my need isang jura box na lang po ang aking mga damit okay yung mga needs si mga kailangan na lang ang nandoon okay so you also have your own opinion and answers to their requests to these questions and aside from your body your clothes and your family you also have your home it seems are part of our life. Its aspects awaken the tenderest feelings of affection. Okay. In our own home, my favorite color ranges from the hue of pink to lavender or light violet. And I colored our wall temporarily with pink. Okay. Because I believe that color really is my identity because it suits the happiness that I want an ambience that I want in any home. And of course, I decorated it with, aside from pink, I decorated it with neutral colors because I believe that gender sensitivity could still be affecting me. Ayan. Gusto kong yung mga papasok sa bahay ko ay makikita nila na ay hindi lang to towards pink or girlish pero towards neutrality din dahil nire-respect niya yung gusto din ng ibang tao. Kung baga walang sinasaydan. Okay? So, you also have your own thoughts regarding your home. Is your home still okay? And does it reflect who you really are? And, of course, we do not easily forgive the stranger who, in visiting it, finds fault with its arrangements or treats it with contempt. Okay? So, if we are visiting in other houses, it is but a decorum and a respect not to outrightly or blatantly say that dapat ganito ang ayos ng bahay niya dapat ganito no we are welcome there therefore we should treat them with respect as well they have their identity we have ours so we are all unique and we choose the best for our home example if we are building new house we have consultants interior designers that is if you have lots of money Okay, but you could be your interior designer. Okay, you yourself could be a good designer with the help of Pinterest and others that could guide us through the internet. We arrange it in the best way we can. Do you arrange your house in the best way you can? And does it reflect your own identity or not? So try to ponder on that. Remember, that our family, our homes, our clothes form a person's material self-instinctive preferences. So let's proceed aside from the family, our home, our clothes. We also have our luxuries. When we say luxury, this is a combination of need and want, but then the side of want is more exaggerated. For example, in Ifuga, we really need a vehicle for us to comfortably transport or transfer from one place to the other especially this in this time of pandemic but then it becomes a luxury when we buy a very extravagant and very expensive vehicle to the point that we neglect our other needs okay pero in mo naman pwede namang bumili pa ng second hand for now kasi we still have lots of needs pero ang bibilhin natin ay worth 5 million and the like that's already or already a luxury and it says here luxury can be used as a sign of distinction to demonstrate one superior status and preserve a distance from the many okay so that's the negative negative side if we are seen with luxurious light so Whatever that is that we have in our material self, it should not give distance or gap to the many. Remember, we have learned in the philosophical perspective that we are all equal regardless of socioeconomic status and regardless of race, ethnicity, and the like. 
And of course, your luxury Luxury goods are also about belonging, especially to the many millions in Asia for whom branded handbags and accessories are physical signs that one belongs to a global class of stylish, stylish consumers. You could also watch the movie Crazy Rich Asians. There you'll see how luxury, luxurious life of many Asians are and their effects to their lifestyle. Okay, That's a movie for you to learn from. And of course... Let's proceed to the concept of materialism. This is a form of philosophical monism that holds that matter is a fundamental substance in nature and that all things including mental states and consciousness are results of material interaction. Okay, it says here that the material things that we have are results of our mental states and consciousness. Okay. So it also says here that it is a tendency to consider material possessions and physical comfort as more important than its spiritual values. Do you observe people who prioritize material things over spiritual values? I hope that among us, we still prioritize spiritual values because these are the intangible things that we have which cannot be stolen away from us aside from education of course the material possessions that we have could be replaced okay they could also vanish but but the values spiritual values that we have are within us and okay let's try to live with it and an example of which is during 2020 when i experienced unfortunate events like i got sick i got pregnant but then i lost the baby i really realized lots of things in life that the material possessions the finances are of course useless if we are not healthy okay and the pandemic told me and made me realize that uh, uh, my relationship with my husband my relationship with my family is more important than the work or the material things that I have, okay? Because work is just there. I could work anytime if I want to. The material things could be earned, okay? And could be bought. But the relationship that I have with my family and my health are the primordial considerations that I realized during 2020 when the pandemic started and I had adversities. Okay, so you also have your examples for you to understand the concept of materialism. Luxury and materialism are byproducts of the material self. Okay, and let's proceed to collecting property. An equally instinct, instinctive impulse drives us to collect property. The collections are treated with different degrees of intimacy, parts of our empirical selves. Okay, I know lots of people who really are craving to collect property like vehicles, um, in real estate, houses, and lands. Okay, because they believe that the value of those will be become higher or will increase as time passes by, and it is an investment for them because. They could sell it in a higher monetary value and they they really identify themselves through their, their properties because ah, it is there that they have invested their earnings from their hard work. Okay, and of course it says here that the parts of our wealth most intimately ours are those which are saturated with our labor as I have experienced a while ago, the hard work, your earning. There is a sense of accomplishment and or fulfillment if there is a tangible proof of one's work. Another example of which is um, we do not have the a lounge which would give comfort to my parent because I have now my mother with me. Okay, I wanted to give her by her a comfortable sofa where she could feel that I, I am watching and I am comfortable. I could rest, I could relax. Okay, dahil sila na ngayong sofa. And of course, I invested half of my salary for the month of February in buying a comfortable sofa from Japan Surplus for her. 
Okay, so it made her think that this is very expensive. But then I told her, do not mind the value. Uh, do not mind the amount. Okay, just be comfortable. Just enjoy your life and just relax here during your television time. Okay, I told her that. Remember that collecting property is an instinctive impulse. Practical interest of a person is a part of his or her material self. Whether we want to buy something for a certain purpose, remember that the needs are or the needs must be prioritized first before the wants. Okay? So another video for you to download. It's entitled Why Are We So Attached to Our Things by Christian Jarrett. You could download that through YouTube. And relate of course the the gist of that video to our lesson on material self and this is the very important most important nugget of wisdom for you one day you will realize that material things mean nothing all that matters is the well-being of the people in your life and i hope that you have heard my example during 2020 and pandemic where i experienced adversities that is an actual example of this nugget of wisdom so thank you thank you so much Dear students, God bless you and of course see you virtually on our lessons for the finals. Thank you, thank you so much.